Hello small business owners, today we're delving into another critical feature of Perfix, the invoice section. Whether you're a coach, consultant, cleaning company, plumber, lawyer or accountant, this tutorial is tailor-made for you. Let's, let's explore how Perfix streamlines your invoicing process, making it simple and efficient for your service-based business. So let's start by looking at how we can actually access Perfix. On the dashboard, you'll see automatically in this billing section that we could, uh, we see how many invoices have actually been sent, or not sent, or unpaid, partially paid, paid and so forth. And you could click here, these are hyperlinks, and you could go into these sections. Okay, if you do that, it will take you into the invoice section, which you can also reach here through this section. Once you enter the invoice section, you are seeing invoices from all customers. If you were to go into the customer section, or you were to click on one of the customer names, and you were to enter the customer section, the invoice section over here is just specifically showing you invoices related to that client only. So let's go to the general invoice section. Let's have a look at the columns and what they mean. Over here, firstly, we have the invoice numbers, the amount that invoice comes to, the total tax that's on that invoice, its date in terms of the day it was created, and here we have the due date. Then we have the customer name related, and we have all of our statuses. Do you remember on top we have a filter? So we can actually change this view so that we could see all the invoices not sent, reoccurring, unpaid, paid, partially paid, um, by sales agent or by different payment methods. Let's look at how we create a new invoice. We click on create new invoice. We select which customer we are sending an invoice to. So we can only send a invoice to a customer and not a lead. You can start by just typing slightly a few letters and a customer's name will come up. Then automatically, if you've entered information in the billing to and the shipping section on the customer's um, sheet, then it will populate through here. Here you can see the invoice number. You can see the date the invoice was raised and the due date of the invoice. All invoices also go automatically with invoice reminders and invoice past due alerts, which are emails that go to customers and can also be SMSs if you've hooked up your SMS section um, for SMSs to customers. If you would like to prevent that from happening on this specific invoice, you can clearly click over here and it will stop any of the overdue reminders um, to go on the specific invoice. So remember with every invoice there is the email that the invoice is attached to the day it's actually set to go out which is the invoice date. Okay, a few days before the due date depending on what we put, it, put in the setting system um, a reminder will go out to tell the client that the invoice is due in a few days on the due date, an invoice reminder goes out if no payment is credited to the account to advise the client that the payment is due today. And thereafter, invoice overdue reminders go out, about two go out. And we set up in our settings side, we set up uh, what when those go out. It could be every three days, four days, seven days apart. We set those out. So this is the left side of the invoice. Let's have a look at what's happening on the right side. So depending what um, payment methods you allow, they would be available here and you select them and then they would be present on the invoice. You could, most common ones that we have used is Bank, Stripe and PayPal in terms of checkouts. Uh, by default, the currency on the system will appear here you can decide whether or not you um, have sales agents attached to it. Normally, we also in the settings decide whether or not we're going to show a sales agent. If you are going to add a discount to this invoice, then you need to select 
the discount before or after tax here. If you say no discount, you'll see that at the bottom when we come to the itemized section that the discount function won't work and that will be because you haven't chosen whether or not your discount should be active before or after tax. If this is a reoccurring invoice, as in it will be sent every every few days, every week, every month, every quarter, every year, then you simply open up the drop down for reoccurring invoices and you select what is the pattern. Is it monthly, quarterly, annually? Um, let me just move this for a second or if it's custom. So if you do select custom, automatically additional fields will open up and you'd be able to select exactly how many days, weeks or years this invoice will reoccur for. So once you do that, if you have a reoccurring invoice and let's say the invoice date is the 25th of the month and the due date is the 30th of the month, then automatically every month uh, Perfex will raise an invoice for you on the 25th, send it out and have it be a due date for the 30th of that said month. Okay, now we come down to the section in which we add the items to our bill. We can either um, add from our drop down our items, let's just add an item here, automatically an item will populate on the invoice and just like with um, the proposals or the estimates, we can then add additional information here or we can, we can change something. So instead of saying a phone, it could be a tablet. Okay, we can also change the amounts and the second we tick, click select the blue tick automatically that item is added to the invoice. Let's take off the tax. The tax setting we also decided in our settings if we are charging tax uh, then we need to state the amount of tax and the name what that tax is called in some companies it could be called VAT that we add to the system now if I had selected uh, a discount yeah now the field would be active for me I could discount either a hundred percent as you can see it's changing or simply a fixed amount which could be let's make it $150 and you can see the difference there but if I had not selected that and I said no discount doesn't matter what I'm filling in here the system won't add it on okay so that is truly the activation code at the bottom of the invoice appears any client notes that you can have as well as your terms and conditions can be placed here so these are also things we automatically enter in the settings side so that they appear on every invoice but you can amend it per invoice as you go through also besides being able to add items we can also create items right here in this very section and have those automatically added on and the next time we go into the item area those items will appear also know that Perfex is the only system that I know of where if you've had billable tasks or billable expenses for a client and those expenses or tasks were marked as billable they would therefore be available over here for you to actually bring in to the invoice. So this is very helpful with uh, your consulting type of clients, your lawyers, accountants, anybody who charges for time, for example, you could simply bring in that time straight from the timesheet onto the invoice. The second you have the invoice, obviously if you're halfway through and you need to run around and go do something, you click save as draft, but if you're happy with your invoice, you click save. You can therefore review your invoice and you say, okay, I'm happy. That's what the client's going to see. If you're unhappy and you want to, or if you want to view it as the client would view it, you can simply click view as client. There you go. Uh, we have a pay now button here because Stripe is enabled on this account. You will simply see your um, 
logo would appear here the branding would adjust your information your clients information and this would be your invoice ready to take a strike payment because that is the payment that we've activated here or it will display your banking details as the second point if you've got both over this you might want to create a credit note you might want to attach a file copy this invoice mark it as sent mark it as cancelled or even pause the overdue reminders remember that if you want to see um, if at this point you want to add a reminder or write a note you can if you want to actually amend the standard email that goes out then you can do so now uh, for some weird reason it's just not generating with it usually does you can also at this point decide instead of it to also attach the customer statement or to only attach the customer statement normally the email that's templated out that you've decided appears here and you can change that i'll look at later why it's not appearing there right now also if you've already taken payment uh, let's just say you could immediately click on payment and you could credit through that payment on whatever due date you needed to and advising whatever payment method you needed to at that point so it's possible you could be doing an invoice that you immediately need to um, create a payment on okay so let's just look at another instance uh, that could happen on an invoice I want to go and look at the call invoice for a second sometimes when you have a few invoices out you therefore have the ability to merge invoices okay so here we edit the invoice and suddenly we can see not only are the invoices available to merge but there are also expenses that's accredited to that's um, credited to this customer that we need to add to our actual invoice to invoice out to the customer so I would leave this on where we mark the invoice as cancelled instead of deleted because I like to know what's happening with every invoice number Second to that, also be aware that if you are merging invoices, then when you look at your invoice numbers, you'll see, oh, but there is no invoice 001 and there is no invoice 002 because we've merged them. You can manually amend invoice numbers, like you can create a new number one and new number two. I personally don't like to do that. Um, I would just merge all these on so as I'm busy clicking selecting these items you will now see these items appear on the invoice themselves oh, I added insurance twice okay so now I could send out one joint invoice And as you can see over here, now the templated invoice email appears and we can amend it specifically on this invoice as we'd want it. And we could attach the customer statement as well and send it out. Because we're working on the demo system, all the information is fake, nothing's actually gonna go through because it's not connected to a server. Hence why no emails appear here when you look at it. So that is our invoicing section. Uh, again, you'll see the statuses. You can access invoices from the client side specific, and you could actually draw a statement only on the client side. When we look at the client, we'd have to enter their name to draw a statement for a specific period. We can select month, year, or the exact period we'd want, and the system would automatically generate the statement there. But other than that, when you look at the customer side, invoices reflected here are just pertaining to this client. However, when we go under sales and we look at those invoices there, those are all the invoices um, that we have for all our clients lined up according to the date line. Uh, the invoice number sorry um, but uh, with our statuses and so forth on the side the other place where you will also see invoices is under projects every single project you can keep any invoices related specifically to those projects within that project as well so we don't have any year, but as you can see, so you can be working for one client, you can have numerous projects with that client, and you can keep all the invoices pertaining to that client in one project. 
client looks at it, he sees just all of that information in one go. Under what projects or what expenses were linked to what projects. Let's go and see if we can have a, look, have a look at the client view. So now we've got a nice client here. He's got projects, he's got invoices. Let's log in as a client and see what they see. So automatically it opens up on the current account um, statement and we can immediately see what's paid, unpaid, which your client will see themselves and then they can go straight to invoices and they can have a look at what, what are the statuses of what invoices without speaking to you by simply logging in and having a look at the portal. So this makes it very convenient for the client. Again, they can generate a statement on their side also for any period that they see, think that they need to see it for. They can print it off. They can have a PDF view of it. Um, it makes it easy, accessible and also cuts down on the amount of admin on your side. Remember that all invoice reminders are automated, which are really a game changer. Perfect takes the stress out of chasing payments. The system sends reminders to your clients, ensuring your invoices are top of mind because it's all about getting paid um, on time without the hassle. We also have proposals and estimates which are integrated with invoices. So if you have an estimate or proposal in any status, you can immediately change that into an invoice. Okay, so this has already been changed. Let's look at this one. See, we can convert it to an invoice immediately. So as we wrap up our journey through Perfect's invoices section, just a reminder, it's not about getting paid, it's also about presenting your brand professionally, hence why your logo would be in the corner on an actual invoice. This is actually what your client sees. They see the status, they see your logo, they see your details, their details, they see the items you are wanting to charge them for to so make sure you have great itemized sections your terms and conditions and if you'd like you can have them sign off invoices or we could simply turn this functionality off stay tuned for upcoming tutorials where we'll explore more features of perfects if you are intrigued and want to see perfects in action contact us at success by design we offer demos and consultations to see if perfects is a great fit for your business drop us a message and we will elevate your invoicing game uh, together.